It was during the Battle of Iwo Jima that the Japanese Air Force began a new philosophy. The Americans referred to the Japanese as kamikaze, divine wind. The Japanese pilot would be placed in a plane. He would be given just enough fuel to make it to the group of ships protecting our Marines on Iwo Jima. Then the Japanese kamikaze would dive his plane into one of our ships, exploding in his plane, killing himself, setting off his bombs, and hopefully blowing up the ship. The kamikaze pilots uh, will be responsible for the sinking of many American ships by Iwo Jima in the next battle as well. More American sailors are going to die from kamikaze attack than by attack by Japanese airplanes in the past. Here's a short piece on the kamikaze. April 6th dawns quiet in the waters off Okinawa. The calm did not comfort Ensign Doug Aitken. We knew that we were going to be in for trouble. We just knew it. On the nearby islands, the Japanese had been gathering every usable plane and pilot remaining in their arsenal. Some are inexperienced, but no less devoted. They call this mission Kikusui, or floating chrysanthemum. They take off in waves. They begin a kamikaze spree that dwarfs anything before or since. In the next two days, over 350 enemy planes wreak absolute havoc. American pilots try to stop them in roller coaster dogfights. Navy gunners try to derail them in white knuckle high speed combat. Sometimes close enough to see each other's faces. General Buckner, an avid hunter, describes the adrenaline rush to his wife. I have had thrills at duck blinds, but none comparable to that of seeing an enemy plane shot down when it was heading directly at our ship. Some are cut down. Others get through. For sailors like Doug Aitken, the horror is burned into memory. And all of a sudden, general quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations. First of all, power went out. So we opened the doors and we could see all this commotion and all this smoke. Japan intentionally crashes 1,900 planes and suicide dives around Okinawa, the most intense kamikaze attacks of the entire Pacific campaign. They sink 26 ships and damage 164 more. Japanese consider it noble sacrifice. The Americans consider it inhumane warfare. You can't identify people. The right thing to do is bury at sea. It is the greatest concentration of Navy losses since Pearl Harbor. By the end of by the end of the summer of 1945, the Americans will move from Iwo Jima to Okinawa. Okinawa is the southernmost island of the Japanese island. 
And as bad as it was on as bad as it was on Iwo, Okinawa will be even worse. There were many in Washington, D.C. who feared that our attack on the Japanese mainland would cost millions of American lives and tens of millions of Japanese lives. Now I think this would probably be a good place for us to stop. And then tomorrow we're going to hear from one of the guys who was on Okinawa explaining what it was like to battle the Japanese. Then we'll look at the end of the war and the dropping of the atomic bomb and what General MacArthur had to say when the Japanese surrendered. Then we're going to look at war on the home front and then we should be done. So I'm thinking that we'll either be finished on Friday of this week or Monday of next week and we will have our quiz next Tuesday. Remember you have until the end of school on Friday to turn in who you're going to do your report, report on. Remember you have until the end of I think the day on Monday to get the two worksheets done for the video. Okay?